Hi, I am Sandra and in this video I want to show you how to declare an enum and use it. I'm going to start off with a basic example and then I'm going to include that enum as a member variable in a class and show you how to use that. If you're looking for a more advanced example on an enum, please look in my playlist on Java OCA and you will find one there. Now, so to declare an enum, it's enum and the name cup size and I'm going to give three possible values, so small, medium and large. Now, what is an enum? An enum is where you're creating your own data type and you list the possible values that it can have. So say I wanted to use a byte, I would declare it as byte b equals and then a, pos a value. So the range for a byte could be minus one to eight to plus one to seven. So that's the max range for a byte. If I went over that, the compiler would go, no, that won't work. So up here, I've created my own data type called cup size and it can only have one of those three possible values. And the compiler will make sure that I don't assign any different value rather than what's there. So similar to me going out of range for a byte. So to use my new data type, it's cup size, um, give it an example, just say cup equals. Now, if I do control space there, I have the values there, uh, small, medium, and large. I chose medium from the list and it would pop in there the name of the enum dot and the possible value that you could have. So the, the compiler makes sure that you can't put in anything else here. So I can't assign one, for instance, there that wouldn't compile. Um, I Let's just put in small. So that wouldn't compile. So it has to be the name of the enum, cup size dot followed by one of the three values. So that's how to use a very basic enum. I have put this enum physically in the same file as my main, as my, as my other class that's here, which I have my main in. That enum can go into a file on its own. It can have the modifier on it public or as it would be now default, no modifier. And if it's, if you make it public and it's in a file of its own, it must, the file name must be the, the same name as the enum. So that's the same for a class, like my public class here main for testing enum, the physical file there has to be the same name. Now I'm going to type up an example to show you how to use that enum in a, in a class as a member variable. So I'm going to have a class called coffee. I'm going to use that enum as a member variable and now I could make it private. So remember that an enum is like a data type. So similar to a string or an int or a byte but it's not, it's its own type, so cup size. So typically here, when we've got a member variable, the data type, if it's class or name, enum will be a capital letter and the variable name will be the same, but a lowercase letter. You can have, if I put in a constructor here for this uh, class, it's possible to take in a cup size into the constructor. And if I were doing that, I would take this objects uh, that should be cup size I would take the member variable and assign it the value that's passed into the constructor so because these two are the same name how do I get to the member variable I put this dot in front of it also I could have a method there a void method called set cup size and it also could take in that enum type so that's similar in that the constructor takes in a cup size. This is where you could change the value of it after the constructor has been called. Now I'll pause this while I just type in two more methods here. Now I've typed up two more methods here. I have a get cup size, which simply returns the member variable and the data type is that of the, the enum. I have a two string method. The two string method will return a string that represents that object. So that basically means it returns whatever the member variables are. I only have one, so I put in a little message here, copy, cup size, and add on the value there from the member variable. Now in main, what I had already was I was testing out just the, the enum on its own before I added in as a member variable. 
and I've abandoned that little cup um, reference variable there so I'm just going to do a printout for that. Let's sew one control space and let me see value of cup just to see, show you what it looks like when it's printed out. So this is before I'm using my coffee uh, object there above. So that's just cup and run that just to see what prints out there. Okay value of cup there medium. Okay, so that's just printing out the values. So the, the values are in capital letters. Um, so it just prints out in capital letters. Now to use that coffee, so inside main. So that example there is using the enum. And now another example here. Ah, and using the enum as a member variable inside coffee. So how do I create a coffee uh, object? So coffee, and I've created a couple of these, coffee one equals new coffee. Now I, I only have one constructor there, so I have to use the constructor, the only one that I have, I have to pass in uh, an enum type. So what I need to pass in here, so again to use the enum, it's the name of the enum, dot and whichever value there that I want to choose. I'll just do a printout on that. So sys o and print out coffee one. And that will call coffee one. That will implicitly call the two string method. Implicitly call the two string method and it'll print out coffee cup size and the value of cup size there added on. So that's my two string there that's called from main. Just a little note there that, that I didn't point out. That at override, that's an annotation which tells the compiler, by the way, I am overriding this two string. So if I don't override it properly, to override it, that means that it's in the, the parent class object. I'm putting in my own and replacing it. And if I don't do it properly, it will give me, a, it, the compiler will let me know. So say I put in a void there instead of it, the string, the compiler will underline it and just tell me that I haven't correctly overridden the method. So that at override is just a directive to the compiler. Now, that was just a little aside. Just getting back down here, I want to create another coffee. I'm going to put in a constructor here that doesn't take any values. So public, this is known as a no args constructor. It doesn't do anything there. It just sets up the object in memory, which would give a value for the or memory set aside for the enum type. Coffee 2 equals new coffee. So this time, I'm just going wrong with my control space. There we go. This time I'm calling the constructor that doesn't take in anything. And now afterwards I have the option there. Coffee two dot. I have a set cup size. So again, I can pass in a um, an instance of that enum cup size dot. I'll go with large this time. And then just to print out on that. This O and this object is coffee two. Coffee copy to and when I run that so there is the, the two printouts there okay so that is the very basics there of an enum it's basically where you make up your own data type and the possible values that can have and I've included as a member variable there in the coffee example in the coffee class and underneath I've just shown you how to use the enum as it is when it's not in a class and then examples of how to use the enum if it is in a class as a member variable